thank you for clicking on the video. If you've been on the channel, you're familiar with me loving Willy Wonka. Whether it's the many movie adaptations of Willy Wonka from Gene Wilder, Tim Burton, even the recent Chalamet one was pretty fun. Also never really told anybody this, but the only time I've ever won in Vegas was at a Willy Wonka slot machine. 5,000 Oompa Loompa Buckaroos, baby. Ooh, felt like Charlie winning that chocolate factory. I was one happy little boy. But today we're talking about sad little boys and girls that were duped with a Willy Wonka AI scam over the weekend. Then look, there wasn't much to talk about. News has been kind of slow, but some about kids getting scammed with AI. Always got to talk about that. But first, I want to go ahead and thank the sponsor of today's video, and that's Haritos. You know, I was running low on my supply of Haritos, so I took a trip down to my local Walmart and immediately went down the aisle until I found my Haritos. Now, the best thing about them is they come in 12 different flavors from strawberry, mango, tamarind, mandarin, my personal favorite, lime. They're made with real sugar, no high fructose corn syrup, all natural flavors. The glass bottles just gives it a nice fancy touch, and really, now that it's starting to get warm again, this is what you want paired up with your nice tasty meal. And they They've been very gracious to continuously sponsor the 3C channel, so drinking Jarritos, it's almost like you're drinking me. So please take a trip down to your local store or use the link in my description to find where they're selling Jarritos near you, as well as let me know whatever your favorite flavor is. But thank you again Jarritos for sponsoring today's video. So over the weekend in the UK, in Glasgow, parents and kids were promised a Willy Wonka experience that they'd have to pay 35 pounds to 40 American. Just if you were wondering, of a Willy's chocolate experience showing here on the website, indulge in a chocolate fantasy like never before, capture the enchantment. Parents can get on this website, book their event, and look at these beautiful images of the chocolate factory they would see for only 35 pounds. Bring me to the main reason of why I even wanted to make this video is to just talk about the ever-growing rise and problem of AI and how it's gonna be used to scam so many of us. Cause yeah, imagine being a parent, Wanting to do something fun on the weekend for your kid that only costs 35 pounds. You're looking at these photos where they're telling you this is what you're gonna get and you're reading descriptions like your journey begins in an enchanted garden with giant sweets, vibrant blooms, mysterious looking sculptures and magical surprises that an extra layer of wonder to your chocolate experience. Navigate through the peculiar but enchanting garden collecting delicious beans of all colors, shapes and sizes. Perhaps you might be able to grow your very own enchanting garden. I'm sorry, look, but if I'm a single father recently divorced and I'm trying to win back the love of my child, I'm taking them that Willy Wonk experience and, oh, this is what they got. These images are both the saddest thing and the most hilarious thing on the internet I have seen in a long time. Like, don't get me wrong, I feel extremely bad for these parents that paid money for the ticket and are now walking around this monstrosity of an event, probably trying to gaslight their own kid into thinking, yeah, I knew it was gonna look like this, Timmy. I, I, I know you could have been on your iPad, but we're here. Your mother gets you at four, all right? I'm a child of divorce, so if uh, that's coming from a place of insight. And look, yeah, if you're seven years or younger, a bounce house anywhere is just gonna make your day. So th there's gonna be a few happy little kids in here. But as a parent, I don't care if I spent 40 bucks, I'm not letting my kid near whatever refreshment table this is. This looks like Oompa Loompa Piss. They giving the kids Oompa Loompa Piss? The decoration of the Willy Wonka Wonderland. I don't know if they thought this was some Super Mario illusion stuff where a kid could just jump into the wall and appear in the factory. In a smaller space, yeah, maybe some of these props could actually look cool and fill it up, but in this just gigantic empty warehouse, it is sad. And honestly, I haven't even gotten to the most wild photo in here. During this experience on their website, they did promise an imagination lab. In the imagination lab, prepare to be captivated by a visual spectacle, encounter mind expanding projections, optical marvels, and exhibits that transport you into a realm of creativity. Brace yourself for an adventure that will leave you spellbound. I'm with, I'm with, and you'll do. But no, here is your imagination lab and your Oompa Loompa that'll be conducting the experiments. Now, 
Oh, but I really want to restrain myself and being too harsh on the Oompa Loompa actresses because in the articles they were mentioning these were actors hired. Probably sent the same AI photos, told this was supposed to look like a super expensive, immersive Willy Wonka land, only to show up and look like you're about to offer a couple of kids some crack. Because tell me that does not look like some sort of lab you'd see on an episode of Breaking Bad. Someone cooked here. The misery behind those Oompa Loompa's eyes and the chocolate they are forced to make and deliver. What is that? It's the end of. As you can see, this was a pretty terrible event. But what sets a standard for a new terrible event is when the cops are called on it. And you know, there's been cases where Karens or other people call the police on events, sometimes for the lamest reasons. You know, they ran out of churros. Oh, they wouldn't give me my sauce. They had no napkins. Like. There's stories like that out there. I feel the parents were a hundred thousand percent in the right to call the cops and put a shutdown on this event. Because yeah, this is just a scam. It's a con. And that's what people are going to start doing with AI. We've been seeing it happen already since it got started. I, in my mind, thought the people doing these AI scams would be a little bit more elaborate, more creative. Like, this is something where you hear about it now. That way you don't fall for it in the future. Because I actually love going to these kind of events events around me like there was a bar around my area that was having a Willy Wonka theme it was awesome they had Wonka burgers guy dressed in a Willy Wonka outfit made me a little drink like I, I ended up probably spending 40 bucks there here I doubt something like this will happen again now since this has just been covered so heavily and I think most of us of a certain age can just look at a photo now especially one like this and know yeah that was created with AI you telling me a place is gonna look like this I know it's not gonna look like this. But like digging deeper into this story, the person behind this, they, they have a company named House of Illuminati where one of the founders is Billy Cowell. And after people found out about this Willy Wonka scam, they looked into him and apparently the guy has written 16 books that he's selling on Amazon. They put it through an AI filter and saw every single one of those books was written with AI. And I know there's so many other people already probably running on those types of scans, doing this, doing that, and we're so headed to a future where we just have a fully AI movie. I think over the week, there was a group of artists, I say with quotation marks because they were using AI art, where they recreated the movie Terminator 2 completely using AI and just looking at the trailer, it looks like an awful mess. I don't know why anyone would ever pay to see that. But in this story, it was just more sickening because you're scamming kids, man. They're like, poor, they just wanted to have some Willy Wonka fun. It's insane, but like, maybe the more I think about it, hear me out. This is lore accurate to Willy Wonka. I, I Tell me in them Wonka movies, he wasn't kind of scamming those kids, putting them through the most rigorous, torturous, traumatic experience of their life. I don't know if the parents sue, if they'll have a case. He literally gave these kids the Willy Wonka experience. It's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. So you get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Might not have turned them into a giant blueberry or had a freaking squirrel send them down a pit into an incinerator, but teaching them the valuable lesson that, you know, life isn't fair. Sometimes you get scammed, but there's a bounce house there, Timmy. And you already gave me 35 pounds. Get to jumping, Timmy. Get to jumping. Obviously joking, of course. These guys are scumbags, and I hope there's some sort of legal repercussion and that they never do this to anyone again. So yeah, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this kind of video, and it wasn't weird, but if I end up deleting this in a couple of hours because I was just like, what, what am I doing? Why did I make a video like that? I'm not moist critical. Just pretend it didn't happen and just look forward to the next movie news video. Give me your thoughts on everything here. Like and subscribe, and well, that's pretty much it. See ya.